Hey guys, it's Rendon with TJ Free, and I am in a Jitsi meeting right now. Actually, I'm gonna turn on a little lamp right here to give myself a little bit more light on my face. And um, I just wanna show you around some of the interface of Jitsi. I'm not an affiliate or anything. It's just free software, and I wanna share with you um, how to use it. And so when you first get into the call, it looks like this. If you remember from the last video, we went to um, jitsi.org, and then it brought up this screen. We clicked Start a Meeting. And then all you need to do is type in the name of the room that you want. You, this can be anything. So you can call it my room one, two, three. You want to have a unique name, but then you click go and it takes you to this screen right here. And notice in the URL, it says the name of my uh, meeting is TJ free meeting. And so there's more information too. If I click on this little eye down here, it brings up information about this meeting and it says the URL. I can copy that. And then I could go to my email and paste it. If I right click and go paste, it looks like this, a URL that people can go to. The wonderful thing about Jitsi is that you don't need to download any software or install anything. Um, an icon does pop up when you first get in for an optional um, browser plugin, a, a Jitsi browser plugin that makes it, uh, I'm not exactly sure what it does, but you don't need to log in, sign up. You don't need to verify your email. It's just uh, a server. And you can run this server privately too. If you're a school or a company, you can run your own private server. And so um, I've given this room to a few other people. They're going to be joining in here pretty soon. We're going to have uh, someone accessing from um, iOS. Um, my wife's going to be joining in from a Linux computer. I'm on a Windows computer right now. Uh, and then my brother's going to be coming in. Okay, so here he is right now. So I just need to send him uh, the link. Okay, looks like someone's joining in now. Oh, here's Corey joining in. So awesome. Can you hear me, Corey? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, very cool. Um, I'm going to call Virgil real quick and see if we can get him on. And Becca's joining in too. So there's a couple different ways you can ask people to join. I told Corey the name of the room, which is TJ Free Meeting. Looks like Becca's here too. Hi, Becca. And uh, now I'm calling Virgil and I'm going to tell him the name of the room. Are you there, Virg? Okay. So are you, are you at your computer or are you, are you getting on through your phone? Okay, perfect. Are you at jitsi.org? There should be a button that says uh, join a room or something like that. It says like see it in action, start a meeting. Okay, click on that and then it takes you to a page and what it, it says start a new meeting, but you'll actually be joining our meeting. The name of the room is just TJ free meeting, all one word. And then click go and you should join in. Okay, and there's Virgil. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna put these headphones on so I can hear everybody. There's a couple different ways um, that you can invite people to the meeting. I called Virgil and told him the name of the room. Um, I, I uh, told Corey the, the link he's using. You're using an iOS on an iPhone. Is that right, Virgil? Or uh, Corey? Yeah. Okay, cool. So he's on the phone. That's why he has the vertical um, picture. Uh, Becca's on a Linux operating system, joining us just through the Brave web browser. And I'm on a Windows computer joining through uh, uh, Chrome browser. And what are you on, Virgil? I'm on Windows as well through Chrome. Okay, very cool. So when you're in the call, we, we obviously have four people in the call right now. Um, you can raise your hands. Like Corey's raising his hand right now. We see in the corner he has that little blue hand symbol. He did that by clicking down here in the left. Like if I click, I get the hand symbol. So you can sort of, if you have students or if you have a lot of people and someone wants to talk, it's a good way to kind of, that I can know that someone wants to say something. Um, and then clicking it again makes that hand go away. Uh, these other buttons we have are to share your screen. Uh, and also you can open and close the chat. So if we click on the chat right now, everyone go ahead and click on that chat and open it. And we can type in some different things on the side here. So while we're talking to each other, we can also be chatting. So it's kind of a nice feature if someone has a question or they have something. Maybe we, we're doing a live stream. Um, I think this the chat is hidden on the live stream, but we'll have to check that out and see. Um, you can mute, like if I want to mute my microphone right now, I can just click this mute microphone icon. And so you can't hear me then. And I can turn my camera off too. You can still hear what I'm saying. You just can't see me. Sometimes this is a good thing. If you notice like this symbol, this little red symbol shows that Becca's having a poor connection right now. And I'm having sort of a not optimal connection. So if you're, and Virgil has a, a good connection. So if you have a lower connection, you can actually turn off your camera, um, especially if you're not actively being part of the, of the conversation. And it helps to kind of incre increase the performance of the meeting. And again, that button to do that is there. Obviously, you can hang up and you can leave the call by just clicking this button. 
Um, we looked a little bit about the information about the call over here. We don't have a password yet, but since no one else is joining, we can go ahead and click add password and we can type in a, a password. You want to do something, you know, not one, two, three, four, but you hit you type in a password and hit enter. And then anyone that wants to join in the future will have to put in that password before they can be part. It's important to do that because if we don't, all they would have to have is the name of the meeting. And if you name it something simple like John's meeting or like John, a lot of people might randomly stumble on that throughout the world. You never know. Um, there's some cool options here. If we click this, so we can toggle the view, these little tiles in the corner, so we can see just Virgil, or we can click and look at just a person if they're not talking. Or if we click this, we can go and look at everyone um, at once. And then these three dots here give us some cool options. Uh, you can do a record. So if we go start recording, I think this is a pro feature. Oh, it looks like you can use it with Dropbox. So maybe it is a, a free feature too. I know there's some, there's actually are some paid features you can do through Jitsi. Um, even though it is open source software, the service right now, this meet.jit.si is actually a company providing this service for free. And they may choose to stop providing this service in the future, but the underlying software uh, is free to, for anyone to download and use on their phones, on their computer, or within the web browser. And then you can actually run your own server and host your own server too. So right now we're using a server um, that doesn't belong to us, but they're letting people use it for free. There's another cool thing too. So I've been doing lots of talking here, but if you click on the speaker stats, it shows you who's all spoken. So I've been speaking here for like eight minutes now and everyone else has hardly spoken. So as people speak, it actually detects who's speaking. And so you can kind of see who's been monopolizing the conversation here, which is me in this case. I can mute everybody if I want to. So now everyone's muted. Does your symbol all get muted right now, guys? So if they wanted to speak, they'd either have to unclick and um, unmute their symbol, or I can click on it too and unmute them, I think. Did I just unmute you, back or not? No, I unmuted myself. Oh, cool. Well, there you go. Um, what else can we do here? We're just kind of exploring this. Uh, you know, we're all kind of new to, to using Jitsi, and so we're just kind of exploring this and showing uh, some of the things. Setting is Settings is a pretty cool thing where uh, you can actually change if you have multiple cameras, you can change to what camera you're using. If you have different microphones like I do, I could use the microphone on my headset. I could use this microphone. My webcam also has a microphone. So if, if you're having issues that people can't hear you, this is where you'd wanna come in and change things. I think you can also link your calendar so I could share my calendar to other people too right now if I wanted to. I can change my display name. So right now it's TJ Free. There's another cool feature you can do, which is share a YouTube video. And Virgil, do you want to get one of your videos queued up from Two Minute Classroom? We'll see how this sure. works. So much of my brother Virgil, I guess I should have introduced people. We've got my brother Virgil here, uh, my brother Corey, and my wife Rebecca. And so we're all just kind of getting together, testing this. Becca and I are in the same room, uh, house. She's on the other side of this wall. That's why our bandwidth is so terrible right now. But Virgil runs a, a, a website or a YouTube channel called Two Minute Classroom and a website where he just does uh, short, concise, educational videos. Um, and he's going to share one with us and we'll see just quickly if we can see um, how that looks like sharing a YouTube video uh, through the Jitsi platform. Yeah, let me share this. All right, I shared it. Okay. Oh, here we go. Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today I'm, Very cool. I'm giving you seven facts about DNA that will blow. It's loading on mine for a little bit, but I'm, that's probably because Becca and I are both trying to download it at the same time. Oh, and it's actually showing the video as one of the streams. That's pretty cool. Oh, cool. Oh, and um, it looks like Corey changed his video. Did you change your video to horizontal? Yeah, I turned it sideways. Oh, nice. Way to go. Uh, Corey, do you want to try and do your screen share since you're on an iPhone and see what that looks like? Do you have that as an option? I don't think I do have it as an option. I can't see the YouTube video either. Oh, okay. Interesting. We'll have to do a screen recording. I have a screen recording of what it looks like on Android, but we'll have to do that. Oh, um, actually, Becca, do you have your phone? Do you want to try and call in? There's another feature here. You want to grab it? You can call in, which is pretty cool for a free service. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I told you we're in the same house, just on the other side of the. She's on the other side of the wall. 
So there's another cool feature too, um, where you can dial in. And so this is the number here. Actually, Becca, you might be able to find it. If you just, do you have the eye, the little information thing on your computer in the bottom right hand corner? If you click that, does it tell you the phone number you can dial in? Yeah, go ahead and call that in. So this is for if someone's maybe driving or they, or they don't have data or they don't even have a computer or all they have is like an old like non-smartphone, they could call in and attend the meeting. Maybe they're at an airport or at a pay phone. So it's another cool feature. Um, so she's calling in now, and then it's going to ask when she calls, it's going to ask for this PIN number. It's a nine-digit PIN number. She needs to put that in and press pound. Uh, I don't think she'll have to put in the password because I think this PIN number is unique to this room already. And if you want more numbers, you can click this more numbers. And there's actually numbers from all over the world um, that tie into this Jitsi meeting service. Even if you're running your own um, server, you can set it up to get your own uh, phone lines into there. So you can do your own calls and have people call in even on if you're running this privately, which is really cool. Looks like Virgil just closed out of the video. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. The same place you share it um, is also the place you can stop uh, sharing or remove it from the the video chat. Oh, cool. Oh, so that's not working. We, maybe I'll play a video from earlier. We did get this working earlier, and it was working. But I'm guessing for a free service like this, so maybe you can't always rely on those number those lines being available. They might only have so many. Looks like I can kick people out. So if I want to kick out, we'll kick out Becca real quick. Kick out, kick. <laughs> so she's gone. And uh, what can we do? We can mute people. So we can mute Corey. Um, so you have all kinds of options. Can you guys mute me or no? Uh, I can mute everyone. Yeah, so uh, I can. So. Mm -hmm. But, but if, if I mute someone, they can still unmute themselves. It looks like we all have about the same control. Even though I started this room, I think we all have about the same control over it. Is that what it looks like to you guys? Oh, yeah. I, can, I can mute you and kick you out. I just have to hold down on the screen. You can kick me out? Video this is my room. <laughs> <laughs> you can't kick me out of my own room. I can also uh, send you a private yeah. message, it says, or oh. show on stage. Oh, that's right. We can send private messages to each other. Um, you can get back in if you want, Beck. In the bottom right hand here, when you toggle this tile view, if you click on this, um, whoever's talking, so right now I'm talking, so everyone's seeing me, but Virgil, go ahead and say something. Hey, TJ Free subscribers and viewers. <laughs> so the camera automatically goes to him. It goes to whoever's talking. Unless I'm talking, then it just stays on the last person that was talking. Maybe say something, Corey, and see if that works for you. Hello, everybody. You should hear me now. Yeah, that's that's really cool. So it does this automatic thing. Um, so you can just see just who's talking. Or if you want to toggle, you can go back and see everyone at once. So that's kind of a cool feature, too. And Virgil, what were you saying about shortcuts? Uh, there's shortcuts down. If you click on the three dots in the bottom right-hand corner, you can view the shortcuts. And so these are just hotkeys you can use to raise your hand, to uh, mute. So if you hold space. Oh, I see. So, so it, you use mostly Zoom at work, Virgil? Zoom or Slack will call through Slack. Oh, okay. So how how does the how does this feel like for for what you've done in Zoom? How does like the quality of the call seem, the quality of the audio, and some of the features? What would you say positives and negatives are? Um, it's it's very similar to Zoom um, in a lot of ways. It's better than Slack. Slack's call feature is is pretty basic. Um, but it's, it's very similar to Zoom. The difference with Zoom, and, and I think Jitsi might have this as well. Um, Zoom has, that you can download it uh, as a desktop application. And so when you do that, you can have actually the video running um, all the time on your screen while you uh, click around and navigate through other pages. Whereas now I'm in the browser. And so if I click around, I lose the video and I can't see who's talking and who's speaking. Oh yeah, gotcha. Okay, that's pretty cool. Do you know how many people can join the video call? I don't know. We should maybe try and... I'm sure we can... I'll, I'll look up and see if we can find that, but uh, that'd be fun to test and see if there's a performance decrease or not with the more people that join the call. Yeah, and if there's a limit, I know with like Zoom's free version, I think it's like a 40-minute limit per meeting. Um, you have to pay if you're going to have longer meetings. Yeah, I don't think there is a time limit on, um, on the Jitsi 
meetings. I, I think that's one of the features is that there is no time limit. Obviously, if you're running your own server, there's absolutely no time limit there. And you have more control over the quality and stability of the session too, I would imagine. I'm going to do the share share your screen and we'll see how this works. So this is on, uh, I'm going to share it. This worked on Linux the other night. I'm going to, and it's, we'll see how it works on Windows. Oh, I can share just a Chrome tab. So I'll share just this meet Jitsi meet tab. Okay, can you guys see what I'm seeing now? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Done about 28 minutes in this meeting. And um, just for fun, let's see the speaker stats. I know I'm going to be most of them. So I've talked for 17 minutes. Virgil talked for about five, 10 seconds on Becca, four seconds on, or, or uh, oh, Becca's in twice. She went and then she, well, I kicked her out and she came back in. So it shows her twice now, which is interesting. And then Corey's at 36 seconds. So hopefully this video has been informative for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave your questions and comments below if you have any. Uh, in one of the next videos, I'm going to actually set up a Jitsi server, like a private server. And maybe we'll do a little test and see how the how the quality is going through a private server. And, and I'll show how to set that up as well. But appreciate you watching. I look forward to catching you in the next video.